Hi, we just released a new version of the Daily Monster Monster Maker, and I thought I'd give you a little demo of all the cool new features. Here we go. Right away, new opening screen, exciting. And, mildly less exciting, a user license agreement, which has always been part of the app, but we thought we'd put it out front. I'm going to hit accept, because I trust myself. And down here you can see the app parts downloading. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, that might take a few minutes. Might hang back here a little bit, but give it time. It'll work through. And then you'll get a notification. Oh look, new parts. Because there's new parts. As before, everything starts with blowing the ink. So start by tapping on the little drop of ink right here. And that'll give you a new shape, which you can move around. You can pinch and zoom. You can rotate. The little red dot is at the center of the object and shows you that it's selected. So you'll notice that that's sort of the center point that it rotates around. And then you can tap off it, make sure that it's not selected anymore. And then you can zoom into the whole thing um, and into the whole drawing surface. But I usually just like to have it at 100%. So let's move this to the side a little bit. And maybe you say, okay, well, that's not enough ink for me. Okay, then you go into the parts palette, and you get more ink. Tap on it as before, and then you can add that to your existing ink blot. And you can do that pretty much, you know, until your iPad runs out of memory and the thing starts groaning. But you can really add quite a bit of ink to it. I'm demoing this right here on my old iPad 3, so you can see that it works uh, even on older hardware. And if you've got a newer machine, it'll be even faster. Make that a little bit bigger. I'm getting a lot of ink going here. Alright, put that here. Okay. Now I'm going to add some eyes. Now, if you are a long-time user of the app, everything will go on as it ever has. You'll have all your parts. You'll have no ads or anything. If you're a new user starting with version 2.0, the app is now freemium. So you'll notice here that you have free parts at the top and then an option to go premium if you want to be ad-free, if you want to have all the parts all the time. But right now you're starting with the free parts and you can scroll through them like this, just up and down, or you can jump to items. And that's a brand new feature that was much requested. It's basically a table of contents. So I can go straight to the eyes, for example. Select one, put it in here. There you go. How interesting is that the snout? Maybe. Maybe he's looking in this direction. Um, let's see if there's a mouth that fits with this. And you can see that you actually have subcategories, so you really can get to what you want fast. And you can also see that there are a bunch of free mouths, and then there are a bunch of premium mouths. And if you want to buy one of those sets, you don't pay a buck ninety-nine for one mouth. You're paying a buck ninety-nine, but then you actually get thirty-two additional parts. And some of the sets are only 99 cents. Uh, other more extensive sets are, uh, I think, 2.99. But uh, you always get a whole bunch of stuff for it. And if you go premium, or if you already are an existing user, then they're free forever, all of them. So right now I'm going to hit cancel and go back to one of the free mouths, because free mouths are really nice. This one maybe. Hmm, interesting, but I actually kind of like the idea that this is the mouth, so maybe we'll put this under here and just put it way to the back. There you go, now he's got a few little teeth there. I want to add a body too. I'm going to go to lab coats. Done. Let's use this one. Move that to the back. There you go, that's starting to be something. Tap off of it. Alright, and of course, as before, you can add 
a drawing to this. We can draw on it rather. Let me use a nice big fuzzy brush. And you can see here. Just give them a nice little background of fuzziness. And then uh, maybe we'll add an arm. Maybe this arm. Oh, and then for using the drawing tool for the first time, you've now uh, received a medal, which you can access in the parts palette by jumping to items and going all the way down here to badges. And then you can see that you've got a little metal here, which you can also use as a part in the app. And I've now used more than five parts for this monster, so for that I get a little trophy, because that's the first time I've done that. And the trophy, too, is going to be in the parts palette exactly where I just got the badges. There's so much going on, it's hard to keep track. But, here you go. Now he's got a little metal. Perfect. And then I made the drawing and that was behind the body part, but I can actually move that back if he's just carrying some sort of barbed wire. I actually kind of liked it the way it was. All right. Uh, now, the big thing is saving. It used to be that you could only save this as an image now. Well, you can still do that in the new version. You can email the monster, you can save it as a photo, you can post it on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Pinterest, Zazzle, or Facebook. Uh, if you're near another iOS user that also has the app, uh, you can use AirDrop to send monsters back and forth. But the big thing is this little key here. If you tap on that key, you can now save the monster in an editable fashion. So you can save it and then come back to it later and keep working on it. So let's do that now. If you're a premium user, it'll just save. If you're a freemium user, you will see an ad. In this case, an ad for Game of War. Eh, all right. Thank you very much. And now you can find your monster here in the orange monster counter tab. And there he is. Check that out. You know, what does that mean? How do you get back to it? Let's start a new monster. Let's actually get an Insta monster going. All right, here we go. That's the little red tab. Press on the button. And then it say, yes, delete all and add an Insta monster. There we go. Happy little fellow with a nice little backdrop. How did I get that backdrop? Let's see. Ah, I see. This is one of the free parts. It's a picture frame that I've just blown up really, really huge to have that orange background. All right, get rid of that for a second. So let's save this guy. Now if you go back into the orange uh, palette here, you can see that they're both saved. So let's go back to our first monster. And there you go. But let's start over again. And make another Insta Monster, just because it's so much fun. Oh, he's cute. Alright. And, as before, you can take a picture with your monster. You can choose photos you already have from your library or from your saved photos albums, or you can take a picture, which I think is the most fun. Right now it's the outward facing camera, so of course it's all black, but let's turn it around. You can see my camera. You can see my head. And my giant finger looking for the shutter button. Look at that. What a, what a darling picture of me. So lovely. Let's turn it around and shrink it. And... As with all these things, blessedly, you can delete them. And you can try again. And again, you can now save this monster to be edited later. And again, you can look into your saved palette there. 
And these all take up very little space on your device. So it's a few hundred K at most. Um, unless there's a photo that makes it a little bit bigger. But um, they don't eat up a lot of space because they just reference parts that are already in the app. But if you still want to clean house a little bit, tap on select. And then you can say this one, this one, this one. I want them all gone, right? Hit delete and they're gone. And you can start anew. And just for fun, let's go to Zazzle. I love this feature. Takes a little second, depends on the speed of your internet connection. See that monster we just made? Check that out. It's immediately on a t-shirt, on a bag, on another t-shirt. It's on a mini speaker. You can have it on a mug. You can have it on a doggy sweater. You can have it on stickers, on postcards. And you can actually modify all these products to fit your size, fit your color. You can put it on other objects. It's pretty great. But let's go back to the app. There we go. And of course, as before, you can add text. And you can make that text larger. You get a metal for that too. But you can zoom into the text this way. You can change the shape of the text box. You can actually make the arrow rotate around. And if any of these things are unclear, you can just tap on the help button down here and you get little legends of everything so that you know what's what in case you forget or you don't have time to rewatch all of this and that's it I hope you have fun using version 2.0 of the app thank you so much